Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll show you how to mount the Seastar S30 Smart Telescope and the S50 on the Star Adventurer 2i mount. I have here the Star Adventurer tripod, wedge and mount. And let's say if you are using uh, the mount a lot also with other equipment, lenses or other telescopes, it will be a waste of time if you use also the S30 or S50 to take them out all the time take the mount out and just use the equatorial wedge it's much better to just attach one of the sister telescopes directly here on the mount and use them in equatorial mode we will start now with the sister s30 and then we'll move on also with the sister s50 and show you also how to mount the second the method is the same the sister s50 is a little bit heavier before starting, if you have the Star Adventure and you set it up with the Star Adventure dovetail, remove that and use here the uh, photography mode of the Star Adventure 2i. You need to replace the original knob that it will not uh, work with the Sister S50. It might work with S30 because it's a little bit taller the base, but with S50 I hit the base. And here I have a 13 mm base and 8 mm cylinder on this screw so you see i have the array axis loose and look how uh, the s30 set it up in equatorial mode look how easy it is to rotate well what is the position uh, we have this leg orientated at north and then we'll position like this having the power button facing up and the body facing north i'm not actually facing north now but i wanted to show the position with the mount turned so you can see better the Star Adventure 2i and everything that's happening here. Okay, so let's say now I want to take the Sister S30 out and place a camera. It's very easy to take it out and place it back. I will show you now exactly how to do this. So I've tied it here so it'll be tight and look how easy it is to take out the Sister S30 Smart Telescope and to place back. Look. and then I'll be able to place it back the same as I put it, as the same I took it out. And here, this uh, photography adapter, you'll need also the photography adapter for the Salventure Twilight that has a 3 8 inch screw. It's one of the sister is 30 on the Salventure Twilight. After that, you need also the, the Skywatcher photography adapter with 3 8 inch screw that will fit here in the Sistar S30 and S50 telescopes. How I can move the, the saddle of the mount like this. We'll just tight the array axis, we'll tight the mount, and it's that simple to place now the S30 smart telescope. We'll just go like this and rotate like this until it will fit there. We finished mounting the Sister S30 on the Star Adventure 2i mount. It's that easy to do. Now if I loosen the, the saddle, look how easy it is to just turn the mount around like this. And when you want to start image in equatorial mode, we will uh, set it in this position, having the power button facing up and the body facing north. We tight. Uh, after you have, you have here the triple leg towards north. This is the position of the sister S30. Now we are in equatorial mode and we just need to wait until uh, night will come to make the final adjustments for a good polar alignment using the sister app. The sister app will show you also the correct latitude. We'll adjust here with the latitude knob and at night we'll make the final adjustments also with the altazimuth knobs here left and right. The sister app will show exactly how to do this in a matter of seconds. In the previous tutorial, where I show you how to set up the sister S50 and the S30 Smart Telescope, I showed you how to set up the S50 on the Skywatcher Equatorial Wedge. However, if you already have the Star Adventure mount and the wedge, you probably want to keep the Star Adventure 2i mounted and just attach the S50 directly on the mount. 
we'll start by getting back on how the S50 smart telescope was attached on the wedge. So before having here the mount, we'll take out the mount. We had the S50 placed like this. And let me show you. It was placed like this. We have, uh, so let's say we have north in this direction. Then we have, we have it here with the body facing north and here the power button facing up. So this was the position without the Star Adventure 2i mount, only on the equatorial wedge. So you also see here, we have one of the tripod legs facing north, because it will improve the balance. So you see, if you want to push the, the tripod like this, it will be harder than the other way around. Having this leg facing north will help balancing the Sistar S50 Smart Telescope. And to do the same with the mount attached, we'll need to rotate 180 degree the position of the equatorial wedge. So let's begin. First, here I needed to use the Star Adventure mount. I had to attach first the mounting plate here. And this is basically the position. We'll go closer so you can see. And after that, I'll just place it here. So it will uh, also have this knob securing the, the mount and I will tighten it. Okay, so normally this leg needs to be facing north, right? And what we can see here, that basically our mount now is facing south, like we would polar align in the southern hemisphere. So for this, we need to rotate back the equatorial wedge 100 degree. We'll unlock here and move it like this. And we tie it back. We, we also check here the bubble level. So it will be leveled. Let's see now it's almost 100%. We can also correct that after. Okay, so we finished the first step. We rotate it 180 degrees. So this is the adjustment that you need to make if you use the S50 directly on the Star Adventure 2i mount. Next, we need to attach this Skywatcher ball head adapter on the S50. It does have here a 3 8 inch screw that will fit on the Sistar S50 or a 30 smart telescope. So we'll go here and attach here the ball adapter. Like this. And next step is to attach the S50. We tight here good also. So here we have the knob. So we remove the we remove the original knobs and place and replace them with the similar ones, but without the plastic part. Okay, so next step will be to tight here better. We'll use this wrench and tight it better. This is a um, 13. So we've tightened it. Next step. So we'll go now and attach the S50 and use the also the screw to tighten it. So here you need to hold it well until you do this operation. Okay, so we tighten good. And now having the dovetail still loose, we'll be able to rotate like this the S50 as we want to rotate until we'll have the right position. So let's say here is north when we have this single leg. Then we just match the position. The body is facing north and here the power button is facing up. And we'll tighten now the Star Adventure 2i. Okay. We finished. We have now the S50 mounted directly on top of the Star Adventure 2i. The only thing is now having here on top, we won't be able to use the polar finder scope to polar align. <laughs> but it's no problem because with the S50, we have the equatorial mode application that will play solve and give us exactly the adjustments needed to get an accurate polar alignment. And you can check also my other tutorials how to do that. You can also check everything to be tight, to be sturdy. 
and we are ready to use the C star S50. We select S50, click on the S50 image, the advanced feature, select EQ mode, and here get polar aligned deviation. And when you click this, it will move to make the polar alignment, and we'll do this at night, when we'll do also some uh, astrophotography, uh, when we'll do also astrophotography using the new EQ mode. And stay tuned for the other videos where I'll also show you more results uh, with the Sistar S50 and S30 in uh, the equatorial mode. And the plan is to take longer plans that we couldn't do before in Alta Z mode. So look how it's turning. We're done, we finished. Now it will play solve if it's night and we'll make adjustments if we need here in uh, with the azimuth knobs, left, right, and here uh, with the latitude adjustment knob. And we are ready to start imaging in equatorial mode with the Sistar S50 directly on the Star Adventure 2 I mount. Okay, after setting up the S50 and the 30 smart telescopes, I do like more how the S30 looks on the Star Adventure 2 I. It looks much better with the Star Adventurer Y mount, wedge, and tripod. I hope I did not forget anything. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you are interested in these smart telescopes, I feel the links are available in the video description. And I want to give big thanks to all channel members that are supporting the channel. And if you do want to support also the channel, hit the join button and become a member. You'll be able also to get access to my photography data. Hope you enjoyed watching the video, it was useful. Hit the like button, share, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Chris Sky, my friends.